Hello friends. Welcome to my new AngularJS tutorial series video. Today, we will learn about AngularJS filters. Friends. AngularJS filters transform the data before it is processed by expressions or directives. The processed data is displayed in a HTML view, but it doesn't modify the original data in the scope. Filters can be added to expressions and directives using a pipe character. Some of the basic filters that will be focused in this tutorial are as follows. Lowercase, uppercase, currency, order by, filter, JSON and number. Let's move ahead and see how filters works in AngularJS. In our previous tutorial we discussed about AngularJS controllers. For this tutorial, let's copy and paste controllers.html file into site root folder. And rename it to filters. In filters.html file, let's code how filters can be used in AngularJS. Provide title to it as Filters in AngularJS. Moving ahead. Let's remove citycontroller.js script element, as we have no use of it in this tutorial. Also, remove contents of div element. In the div element, let's create a label as mobile name. Also, create an input element having a text field. Provided a model say, name, through ng model directive. Just below text field, provide a expression having name model in double curly braces. Upon running the HTML file, it displays a label and a text field. As soon as, we type Samsung Galaxy it prints Samsung Galaxy just besides it. Now let's see how filters work one by one just below name expression let's create a p element having a filter label also let's see how lowercase filter works in slide we saw that filters can be added to expressions and directives using a pipe character therefore after name expressions provide a pipe character and type lowercase save the file and let's see its effect on browser Let's type Samsung Galaxy with all letters capital. You can see expression beside text field displays it as it is. But filter expression, types each letter in lowercase. Thus, due to lowercase filter, every character gets formatted to lowercase. Similarly, uppercase filter formats every character to uppercase, as demonstrated. Moving ahead, let's remove mobile name label and provide a label as currency. Also rename ng model value to currency. Moving ahead, provide currency in both the expressions. And in place of filter, provide currency filter. It's an Angular JS filter. Let's run the file. In the text field provide a number, say 45. Expression without filter prints 45. But expression with filter prints 45 as $45. Thus, currency filter outputs default number to dollar currency. Here, default currency is dollar, in order to use some different currencies such as pound or yen etc. We can provide currency symbol in filter itself. Suppose we want to display currency in pounds. We can provide syntax as currency colon pound currency symbol. 
and now it displays value in British pounds. Moving ahead, we can even round of a number value, using number filter. Suppose we want to round off currency to exact currency with no decimal value. We will provide filter as number colon zero. In browser if I type 49.1, it rounds off it to 49. And if I type 49.5, it rounds off it to 50. Thus, using number filter we can format a number. Moving ahead. Let's remove contents of div element. In the angular.js folder. I create a controller javascript file by name. mobilecontroller.js Inside this controller script file. Let's create a function by name mobile controller this function takes in a dollar scope variable inside this function let's create an array of objects having variable name as mobiles create an array as demonstrated This array will consist of three mobiles having properties as name and price. In filter.html, in order to use mobile controller, we have to import mobile controller.js file. Just drag and drop script file as shown. In the div element, let's provide ng controller value as mobile controller thus now div element can use mobile controller in its scope inside this div element we will display a list of mobiles with the help of ng repeat directive in li element this ng repeat will hold a value such as mobile in mobiles for more on ng repeat watch my previous tutorials in li element, we provide expression to display mobile name and mobile price separated by comma. Perform steps as demonstrated. You can see on browser it has displayed a list of mobile names and mobile price separated by comma. Moving ahead. Above UL element, let's provide a label as, without filter. Copy and paste, whole contents of UL list and paste it below. This will display list with filter. Let's see how order by filter works. In ng repeat provide a filter as order by colon name. At, as seen on browser, it will display mobile names in ascending order. Similarly, it works very well for price property as well. Moving ahead. If we want to output mobiles in JSON format, we can use JSON filter. Use it, as demonstrated. Moving ahead. Revert previous changes as demonstrated. Let's move ahead and see how filter by name filter works. 
just below with filter label. Let's create a P element having label as mobile name. Also, create a input element having a text field. Provided a model say mobile name through ng model directive. Moving ahead. In ng repeat let's see how filter by name filter is used. It will be mobile in mobiles, pipe, filter colon, mobile name. Let's go to browser and see what this filter does. Currently, it displays all three mobiles. As soon as I type S, it displays only Samsung mobile info. If I type I, it displays iPhone 6 info. Thus, filter by name filter actually displays only result based on what you type on text field. Text field is associated by mobile name model, which has been used in the filter to filter out mobiles. So friends, in this tutorial we saw few basic Angular JS filters. I will demonstrate many more in upcoming tutorials. So, go through this video two to three times so that Angular JS filters concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.